Hey guys, I am finally filming my bookshelf tour. Well, I filmed it twice already, and both times it was like 30 minutes long, and I do not want to make you guys suffer through a 30 minute long video or two 15 minute long videos of my books. So I'm going to try to make it fast. I'm not going to go over every single book I own. I will show every one of them to you, but I'm not going to show you every cover or anything. This is my bigger bookshelf, which I'm going to start with, and then I'm going to move to my smaller bookshelf. First, at the top, I have uh, a little plate. It's a little Firenze or Florence plate. For Florence is my favorite city in Italy. And there's a little Greek statue thing. Okay, first shelf. These are all arcs. Um, uh, these are arcs I'm keeping, but I might be doing a crossed giveaway. Um, I'm keeping these because I either loved them or I have them signed. And behind the arcs are books I haven't read and they are alphabetized by author's last name. The first two shelves are books I haven't read and the bottom three are books I have read. Okay, here's the top shelf. And the second shelf. This one, I don't know if you can see it. It is from the mixed up files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweiler. On these shelves, I have mostly adult fiction or kind of classic children's literature, like Island of the Blue Dolphins by Scott O'Dell, two James Patterson books. I loved Trickster's Choice. I need to read Trickster's Queen. Two Sarah, De I mean not Sarah, Desmond, Elizabeth Scott books. She's super nice. Okay, and starting here are books I have read. Um, Speak by Laurie Hall Sanderson. I got to meet her twice. She's so funny and awesome, and she signed my book. Sharing Sam is a pretty good book. It's a little bit sad, but I liked it. I read it back in high school. Handmaid's Tale, awesome book. This is the first in the River of Time series by Lisa T. Berggren. Definitely check that out if you like time travel and historical fiction. It's YA. China Garden by Liz Berry is one of my favorite books ever. I have read this I do not know how many times. You can tell it's pretty banged up, but I love it. Third show. Knots and Crosses is really good. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Classic dystopian why don't why classic dystopian novel. Everyone should read that. Okay, Mediator series by Meg Cabot. Um I think this is the these are the best books Chris Meg Cabot has ever written. I love them. I have read the whole series. I do not know how many times. The first four I have the original covers. Um let me just show you the first book, Shadowland. It is falling apart because, like I said, I have read it like a thousand times. It's falling apart so bad that, you know, a good chunk of the pages just slip out. So, yeah. Really good. You guys, the series is amazing. You guys have to read it if you haven't already. Okay. First three books in the Morgan Mill Vampire series. Oh, Honey Baby Soup, sorry, by Deb Coletti is one of my favorite books. Awesome. I don't know where my City of Bones and City of Glass books are. Makes me sad. I'm letting a friend borrow Hunger Games. Love the Hunger Games trilogy. BFG by Roald Dahl, one of my favorite books as a kid. Love it. Oh, uh, that's Lock and Key by Sarah Dustin. I used to have more Sarah Dustin books, but I like the Cassandra Clare books. I don't know where they are. I don't know if I let someone borrow them and then I forgot them. I don't know. If I let someone borrow them, I usually remember. I don't know. Uh, the Birth of Venus by Sarah Dunant is really good. It's a kind of a historical fiction, but adult novel. It's really good. Last of the Really Great Wang Doodles was another favorite book of mine as a kid. So good. And Perfect Chemistry and Rules of Attraction. Um, I love Alex, but I love Carlos. And I can't wait to read Chain Reaction. Okay. Fourth shelf. 
I finally read If I Stay, guys, and I loved it. I cannot wait to read where she went. Um, Neverwhere. Summer, My German Soldier. I loved that book back when I was a kid. It's really good. I liked it because it was set in Arkansas, and that's where I'm from. I'm actually a huge Odyssey fan. I loved this, like, whole thing. Yeah, I'm a nerd. Kite Runner and A Thousand Splendid Sons are two of my favorite books. I think everybody needs to read them. I just read Five Flavors of Dom. I really liked it. I have Iron King and Iron Knight, but they're on my Kindle. Johnny Voodoo is another one of my favorite books. Awesome. Love and Other Four Letter Words, another book I have read quite a few times. This is the Diary of a Crush Trilogy by Sarah Manning. The first two books are ARCs. They were the first two ARCs I've ever received. So I will never be giving them away. And I love these books so much. Um, they remind me of Sarah Dessen or Anna and the Fridge Kiss. And I'm pretty sure Farrah has gushed about this trilogy. I'm sure she might have had done a review. And yeah, you guys have to check them out. They're really good. Sa oh, sa uh, Sobby First and Second Helping by Megan McCafferty. Oh yeah, Lurleen McDaniel book. Don't judge. All you girls, you know you read them too. And then I have a little teen Harley Quinn novel. <laughs> Center of Everything by uh, Laura Moriarty is really, really good. Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Here's your turn with you. That's Trickster's Choice by Tamara Pierce. That's really good. Um, the Unlikely Romance of Cape Yorkman is by Louise Plummer, and I read this book every year around Christmas. Love it. Bottom shelf of the big bookshelf. Um, that back there is Northern Lights by Philip Pullman, or look, this is like a British version, so it's called Northern Lights there, but here it's Golden Compass, it's the first in his Dark Materials trilogy. The first two books in the Georgia Nicholson, Nicholson series, uh, like Angus Bungs and Full Frontal Snogging. Love that book. It's hilarious. Just finished Across the Universe. That's pretty good. All my Harry Potter books. Hell yeah. The first one's the only one I have in paperback. Um, Tales of Beat of the Bard. It's kind of dark down here. Hopefully you guys can see these. Another Elizabeth Scott book. David Sedaris, he's hilarious. The Man of My Dreams is really good. It's another one of my favorites. It's by Curtis Sittenfield. She also wrote Prep, which was okay. The Three Theban Plays by Sophocles. I have a, a manga right here. Don't judge. Um, Sugar, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn. This is a pretty good vampire book. It's Companions of the Night by Vivian Von de Velde. Pretty good. And then I just have random books over here. And these are some books I need to have giveaways for. On to the second shelf. Uh, some of you guys asked where I got the bookends. I got them at Borders at a closing sale. I don't know if they sell them anywhere else. I hope so because you guys should get them. They're awesome. And in the bookshelf, in the bookends, are books I'm going to be reading in October for my zombie themed month. I added one. It's Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. That's my sister's book. And I'm also going to be read reading Richard Denny's Girl's Guide to Falling in Love with a Zombie. I will write it down below for you guys. But Richard has a YouTube channel. You guys should go check him out. I'm sure most of all of you know him already because he's an awesome YouTuber, a booktuber. Thank you, Richard, for letting me read that and sending it to me. Over here um, is the book I'm reading right now, Jellico Road by Melina Marchetta. And then Take Me There is the next book I'm going to read. And that's this is the book I need to review, Variant. Awesome, awesome book. You guys have to read it. It comes out in October. Oh, so good. I went to Borders again um, last week because I found out they were open longer and because I have a problem. And I bought these four books for $2. So, yeah. That's the third one of the Sister of the Traveling Pants series. It's the only one I didn't have. Okay. Um, these books on this bookshelf are all books I have not read yet and that I really want to read. All through here are ARCs that I need to read for review. These three ARCs are ones that have already been published. And then I have them set up by, like, when they'll be published. And then I have... The and then there's just other books that I want to read. And they are alphabetized by author's last name. Um... The, these and these 
than that are books that I want to get to sooner than those. And those are alphabetized separately by author's last name. Okay, Beauty Queens or Libba Bray. I'm really excited to read that. I love Libba Bray. The Weird Sisters, Orson, oh, Ender's Game, but Orson's Got Card. I'm a huge Monty Python fan. I um, studied abroad in Scotland and I got to go to the castle where they filmed the movie. And then I went to see Spam a lot here in Dallas. And then I have Shot Glass from my university. Go Mean Green. And then the fourth and sixth book of the Morgan Mill Vampire series. Uh, I haven't read this Sarah Dessen book yet. The only two Sarah Dessen books I haven't read are Along for the Ride and What Happened to Goodbye. That is The Air Affair by Jasper Ford. Where she went, I can't wait to read this because I loved If I Stay. Um, for, uh, the, I, my aunt is letting me borrow these to two books. So I really need to get to them. And then these are alphabetized going up. And that's Game of Thrones. And then the bottom show, Inside Out and Outside In. Two more shot glasses, Carlsbad Caverns, and that Dune Castle. I don't think you guys can see it, but that's the castle where Monty Python the Holy Grail was filmed. And then also, Alpha Dye is going from bottom up. On top of you, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's the Demon's Lexicon by Sarah Reese Brennan. Those are my bookshelves. Hopefully this bookshelf tour is interesting. If not, I guess I can go into more detail about the books I have or whatever. Just let me know. Okay, I will talk to you guys later. Link me to your bookshelf tours if you have done some. If not, film one because I want to watch it. So this is my request to you guys to film a bookshelf tour. Okay, alright. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!